volumes of solid figures. Good day students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to solve 40 volume of rectangular prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere. Let's begin! We have here a tank in the form of rectangular prism. Its height measures 4 cm, length 2 cm, and width 2 cm. Now let's solve for its volume. But wait! First, let's have a quick recap on what volume means. Volume is the amount of space inside a solid figure or three-dimensional figures. Unlike the area which is measured in square units, in volume, it is measured in cubic units. Cubic unit is a cube whose sides measure one unit. If each side measures one centimeter, the volume will be one cubic centimeter. If they are one meter, it will be one cubic meter. Now if we have two cubes whose sides measure one unit, the volume would be two cubic units. If we add one, that will be three cubic units. And let's say we have three more, that will be six cubic units. Here we can see that we have formed a rectangular prism whose height measures 2 units, length 3 units, and width 1 unit. We can determine the volume of a figure by counting the number of cubic units that can fit inside it. Now let's try and go back to our problem. Now let's try to make some cubic units using the dimension of this figure. Here, the rectangular prism has the height of 4 cm. It means that it has 4 1 cm. So that will be 1, 2, 3, and 4. For its length, it has 2 cm. So that will be 1, 2. And for its width, it has 2 cm as well. So that will be 1 and 2. Now we can see that we have formed some cubic units. Now let's count them. Now we have 16 cubic centimeters, and that's the volume of this prism. Now we can observe that if we multiply 2 centimeters to 2 centimeters to 4 centimeters, we will get 16 cubic centimeters. This means that, to get the volume of a prism, we can simply multiply the length, width, and height. So that will be length WH. Also, we can observe that the length times width is the area of the base. Therefore, we can also say that to get its volume, we can multiply the area of the base times the height. So that will be B times height. Now, as we can see, we are also multiplying three dimensions. Therefore, we can also write the answer as 16 cubic centimeters with 3 as the exponent. Wonderful! Now, let's have another example. Next up, we have pyramid whose height measures 4 centimeters, length, 2 centimeters and with 2 centimeters. In our previous video lesson, we learned that one rectangular prism is equal to three pyramids, considering that they have the same height and base. Therefore, we can say that the volume of a pyramid is one third of the volume of the rectangular prism. So the formula for the pyramid's volume is one third length times width times height, all length times width times height divided by 3. Now let us solve. The length here, which is 2 centimeters, times the width, which is 2 centimeters, times the height, which is 4 centimeters, divided by 3. 2 times 2 times 4 is 16 cubic centimeters, divided by 3, that is. 5.33 cubic centimeters. 
And that's the volume of this pyramid. Great job! This time, we have a cube whose sides measure 2 meters. To solve for its volume, we need to multiply the length to its width to its height. But since the cube has equal sides, we can have the formula as side times side times side or S cube. So that will be 2 meters times 2 meters times 2 meters, which is 8 cubic meters. And that's the volume of this cube. Great job! Now let's have another example. This time we have a cylinder whose radius measures 4 meters and the height is 8 meters. The formula for the cylinder's volume is pi r squared h. Now let us solve. The volume of the pi that we are going to use is 3.14. So that will be 3.14 times the square of the radius, which is 4 meters. So that will be 4 meters times 4 meters times the height, which is 8 meters. First, let's simplify 4 meters times 4 meters. There you go. Now we have 3.14 times 16 square meters times 8 meters. 3.14 times 16 square meters is 50.24 square meters. And if we multiply that to 8 meters, the answer would be 401.92 cubic meters. And that's the volume of this cylinder. Awesome! Now let's go to our next example. Next up, we have here a cone whose height measures 6 decimeters and the radius is 2 decimeters. From the previous video, we learned that one cylinder is equal to three cones, considering that they have the same height and base. Therefore, we can say that the volume of a cone is one-third of the volume of the cylinder. So the formula for the cone's volume is one-third pi r squared h, or pi r squared h, divided by 3. Now let us solve. The value of the pi, which is 3.14, times the square of the radius, which is 2 decimeters, times 2 decimeters, times the value of the height, which is 6 decimeters, divided by 3. First, let's simplify 2 decimeters times 2 decimeters, which is 4 square decimeters. Next, 3.14 times 4 square decimeters times 6 decimeters is 75.36 cubic decimeters. And if we divide it by 3, the answer would be 25.12 cubic decimeters. And that's the volume of this cone. Great job! For our next example, we have a sphere whose radius measures 3 centimeters. The formula for the volume of the sphere is 4 third pi r cubed, or 4 times pi r cubed divided by 3. Now let us solve 4 times the volume of the pi, which is 3.14, times the cube of the radius, which is 3 centimeters. So that will be 3 centimeters times 3 centimeters times 3 centimeters divided by 3. Now let us simplify first. We have 4 times 3.14 times 27 cubic centimeters divided by 3. 4 times 3.14 times 27 is 339.12 cubic centimeters. And if we divide this by 3, the answer would be 113.04 cubic centimeters. And that's the volume of this sphere. Wonderful! Wow! Great job, students! Now, here are the things that you learned today.